Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre. Today I want to talk about what sustains you in the midst of everything that we're going through. I was thinking about this as I watched the debates a few nights ago. And, of course, it reinforces the feeling that progressively the world is a giant dumpster fire. And I'm concerned about the people that work in the healing and helping professions. I'm watching this take a toll on folks. And not surprisingly, the people that I know who are deal doing best with these trying times are people in long-term recovery from addiction. I always marvel at the resilience and the attitudes of people who have long-term recovery. It's almost as if they laugh at the world and say, well, what are you going to do to me that I haven't done far worse to myself? So I don't want to talk politics. I, I like thinking about what sustains you, what helps you to manage as you're going through things that are difficult. If you're anything like me, you're wishing that there was an end date. You're wishing that you knew when things were going to get better. But then if you knew that, you'd probably just put your head down and just plow towards that, that time. And it would take a progressive toll. And so as the more I think about this, the more grateful I am for the people in my life who truly support me. And I wish, like my ego would love to believe that I'm so clever that I went out and found all those people. But that's insane. No. Uh, the best people in my life today are there because my higher power put them there. They are my chosen family. Uh, they're people that I can lean on and people that can lean on me. And sometimes when things are especially trying, we just take turns being there for each other. And I got together with one of those folks this past weekend. We were talking about everything that's going on in the world and doing our best to laugh about it. I think Gallo's humor is uh, pretty common and, and actually pretty helpful for those of us in the healing and helping professions. And I frequently, over the past several months, have had uh, REMs, It's the End of the World as We Know It, playing in my head. I'm trying to laugh through it all, uh, and I'm maintaining faith. I know that sooner or later things are going to be okay, and I know that after that time, they're going to be better than they've ever been, because everything in my recovery has proven that. So I'm asking my higher power, what are the lessons that I'm supposed to learn here? What are the ways in which I'm supposed to be in service? Uh, what do I need to let go of? And that's what I was talking about with my friend this weekend was there's an awful lot going on in my life and all of it's good. All of my problems are good problems, but I've been known to put a little too much on my plate. So I've been thinking about what do I let go of and what do I add? And that's an ongoing conversation with my higher power. But my friends had asked me a pretty amazing question. He said, what if you just focused on what would bring you the most fun in the next year? And that was a delightful way to think about it. Uh, I'm always prioritizing. I'm always working hard to manage my time. I get to do a lot of really cool things. But when I uh, meet with clients, I'm always encouraging them to prioritize fun. I'm always preaching uh, how valuable it is to uh, have things in our life that are just funny, are just uh, things that help us to relax. And so I, this is how I most often hear my higher power talking to me, is through the people that uh, she puts in my life. And so I'm grateful for that. I'm also uh, grateful for music. I, I talk about this often, but music is kind of my go-to uh, for coping. So if you're not already familiar with the band Disturbed, here's something really cool. Uh, they've done some really amazing cover songs, and their latest is uh, If I Ever Lose My Faith by Sting. Uh, they redid the song. It's absolutely incredible, and I know that you'd enjoy hearing it. So I've put a link into the vlog for it, and um, I'm thinking about that a lot these days because the faith that I have is certainly in my higher power, but it's not only spiritual in, in terms of my higher power, it's spiritual in terms of my connection uh, to the people that my higher power puts in my life. It's spiritual in terms of maintaining faith in myself and having lots of people in my life who believe in me. One of my favorite adages from recovery is the concept of just believe that I believe and I get to say that and mean that with an awful lot of people. So, 
I hope that you're taking excellent care of yourself. I hope that you have lots of things in your life that help you to cope, that help you make your life more sustainable and more manageable. And most of all, I hope that there's a lot of people on that list. If you're struggling, if you don't have folks like that in your life, please reach out to me, jim at sobernow.com. I love answering questions and I love hearing topics about things that you'd like discussed here in future talks. Please check out our YouTube channel. Uh, Sober Now is there with about 95, almost 100 videos now on lots of different topics relating to addiction. And please check out our site, SoberNow.com. Please take excellent care of yourself, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.